Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James and in this video let's go over something I saw on Reddit and some of you people may hang out on Reddit more than others and you know it's just a place people post a lot of stuff. There's a subreddit for The Walking Dead and you know a lot of people post a lot of different things, just their thoughts, their favorite characters, some questions, a whole lot of bitching and complaints. Uh, some people put their artwork. Some's good, some's not so great. But here's a subreddit I found a couple of days ago. I thought I would go over with you guys and see what you think. It was posted by Overall Spite 4271 And the question is, what is something from The Walking Dead that's pretty dark that is ignored? And I think the question could have left off ignored because a lot of the stuff mentioned isn't necessarily ignored. People talk about it. Um, they may not talk about it a lot in the show as the show keeps going after that dark moment. So it could just say, what is something from The Walking Dead that's pretty dark? That's kind of the way I looked at it. And a lot of people listed a lot of things. A few I would kind of forgot about a little bit, maybe. But let's dive into some of the comments. And of course, um, you guys can put what you think about some of the stuff I listed here. If you go to the Reddit and read through it, there's other stuff I, I'm not going to mention. So you could take some of that. Or you can come up with your own dark moment that you think supersedes maybe any of this stuff. So one thing that's pretty dark in the show that I agree is really dark, and we might have seen it in a few different ways here and there, but... Denise, walking into that washroom in that store, uh, the little back area mop room, I guess you could say. And a dead baby in the sink. Hush is written on the walls. Uh, I think the mom is still in there also. You know, the baby was making too much noise, drawing in the walkers. The mom was trying to keep the kid quiet. You know, it's just a sad moment, a sad thing to think about. And you really don't want to ponder it too much because it is a dark, dark moment. Some of the other things listed in the comments, Abe's death. You know, Glenn and Abe, uh, Abe getting beat in the head with a baseball bat. Glenn also, pretty dark moment. I think that messed up a lot of people. I think a lot of fans, you know, I think looking back, a lot of people said they stopped watching at that moment and stuff. It was just uh, uncalled for, too dark, all these different things people felt. And I want to talk about rape a little bit in the, uh, the show. It was mentioned so many times. And the time Shane tried to rape Lori when they were at the CDC, that came up a lot and a lot more than I thought it would. Uh, one of the dark things, not just that with Shane and Lori, but when Carl was almost raped with the claimers, you know, Rick bites the throat out of Joe the claimer, one of the most awesome scenes ever. Well, Carl was over there about to get raped by this other guy. But about rape, you know, the governor, they say the governor was going to rape Maggie. I I actually think maybe he wasn't. That was a little different. He had lovers in the town before uh, Andrea showed up. I think you could see that um, through the show. And with Maggie, you know, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. I'm not sure that's the direction he was going. Uh, humiliation, uh, you know, and things like that. But I don't know about rape. Of course, the comic governor, different. He, he did rape. And it's happened a few times in the show. There was a webisode that we saw a girl chained up and stuff. So that kind of stuff has happened through the show. And a lot of people point to Negan as well as a dark thing about, hey, he had wives, you know, he made them consent, but it wasn't really, you know, it was like, I will kill your husband if you don't. So, yeah, I think everybody could say without a doubt that you know, those girls didn't want to be there with Negan. You know, they didn't want to have sex with him. So rape, I would put that into that category. But rape is a big thing as far as the stuff people were talking about in the comments. There were a lot of little things, like in season four, episode 11, Michonne and Carl are exploring a house, and Michonne goes in, sees this uh, uh, mass, maybe family suicide, family, uh, mom, dad, and kids, maybe. And she shuts the door and says, like, yeah, nothing in there. The Lizzie and Mika story uh, about Lizzie killing her sister and that whole dark thing within that, man. And, and Carol, she, what a trooper to go through all of that and still come out reasonably sane. We also have things like the Pike victims. You know, that was a pretty dark moment, getting your head cut off and stuck on a stick. That's pretty dark, man. 
But then other little things like the Aaron and Gabriel centered episode where we got uh, the guy Maze. You know, he was hidden in the walls. He had a, a room upstairs uh, that he had his brother tied to the wall, chained to the wall, you know, stuff like that. Very disturbing. So definitely there's a lot of gross moments, a lot of bad moments when people did bad things and stuff. But Dark may be a little step farther, you know, some really, really bad things, bad something that would have happened, you know. But probably one of the things that we didn't even see but was brought up several times and had a lot of comments, uh, replies on it, and it is, it's totally 100% very dark, is Maggie's story in Season 11, Episode 2. And she just tells the story. We don't even see it. But she went into a house with four people in it. Uh, They wanted to kidnap her. She killed them. She went upstairs and found several women who had been raped and mutilated. You know, it's like maybe mutilated, just you don't know the details of it. But she goes on and tells the details of that. No arms, no legs. They had cut off their arms and legs, cut out their eyes, cut out their tongue. And she also said there was a hole in their throat showing ripped out vocal cords. So whatever they were doing with the women, um, I'm thinking definitely sex slaves. But how could that even happen? I mean, these weirdos, the the serial killers or the rapists, whatever, that were keeping these women and and as sex slaves and, and whatever they were using them for. I mean, they had to be almost like maybe surgeons or doctors or something. How can you cut off arms and legs, cut out eyes, cut out a tongue and rip out some vocal cords without having some type of medical experience. I would think most humans that become rapists or serial killers, they would just punch the person and say, shut up, instead of actually ripping out the vocal cords, I mean, and the tongue and the eyes. I mean, that's just crazy daisy, man, if that's a true story. It is dark, possibly one of the darkest things, uh, even though we didn't see it. But this is one of those videos we can definitely look back at the main show, and you can throw in fear or any webisode or anything like that as well. But you know, the Walking Dead main show, season 1 through 11, we can look back at it now as a whole. And let me know. Let me know what you think. Some of the stuff I mentioned, some stuff I didn't mention. What what do you think is the darkest moment in The Walking Dead? Hey, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and you know I'll join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more dead stuff. Tried to tell you weren't ready. Both dead. I know.